Hey guys, I'm Brian Botkiller, and today in being a successful musician, I'm going to talk about taking care of your industry contacts. All right, so what is what the hell does that mean? Is <laughs> what people are going to say? What the hell does that mean, Brian? With taking care of my industry contacts, what do you mean? Okay, here's the bottom line. As you go along your process of being a working musician and getting things done and making connections and touring and getting to know promoters and people who work in this industry, record label owners, reps, people who do CD replication, people in the digital audio industry, whatever it is, right? As you get to know people, you're going to amass this contact list that is going to get longer and longer. And you should always, always, always be networking. ABN, always be networking. I'm sure that's a thing. I don't know if it's not. Boom, there it is. Always be networking because you should always be networking. If you're at a gig, you should be talking to people. You should be talking to everyone because you never know who does what or anything else. You can make connections in the strangest of ways, okay? Take a look at OK Go who of course is really well known for their really awesome music videos and all these other kinds of things, their most recent video is a partnership with Morton Salt Company. Okay, like Morton Salt Company. <laughs> you, you have to keep in mind that in order to get a connection at the Morton Salt Company, that doesn't, that does not mean that you, I, I don't know how it happened, but I'm gonna guess that they weren't reaching out to Morton Salt and saying, hey, we really want to work with you guys. Now, Morton Salt probably reached out to them because they've got a huge fan base and they make great videos and all this other kind of stuff, right? But still, that's a crazy industry connection. That's not even a music industry connection. That's just an industry connection. That's a business connection, okay? So take a look at that and consider the fact that if OK Go is networking with salt companies who make salt, <laughs> That basically means that you can network with literally anyone that you speak to, get to know, or anything else. So always be networking. Don't be promoting. Don't be talking all the time about how great you are and how badass you are and all this bullshit. That doesn't do anything. Just be networking, getting to know people, introducing yourself, talking to people, various things like that. That stuff is really important. After you make all of these connections, you need to continue to keep them alive. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is very simply stay in touch with people, okay? Send emails every once in a while and just ask how somebody is doing. Don't lead into every single email with, hey, how are you doing? I was wondering if you could do blah for me. That turns people off immediately. Do not do that. It's not going to make things easy. If you need to ask a favor of somebody, that's fine. Don't make your first email to somebody in months be, hey man, how are you doing? Second line, I need to ask a favor of you. It's just not good, and it's going to put you way at the bottom of that person's contact list. Just stay in touch with people is basically all I'm saying. The same way that everybody tells you call your mom, or you know, somebody has to tell you at some point, call your mom, right? Treat it the same way, roughly. Get in touch with your industry connections and just say hi and see how they're doing and ask how their business is doing. Ask how their work is doing. Ask if they're enjoying what they're doing. What, they, what new things do they have going on? Stuff like that. Ask that. Don't just ask for things. Stay in touch the same way you would with your mom. If you call your mom up all the time and you ask her for a favor, which a lot of us had, have had a tendency to do, right? Well, that would make sense. That's what happens a lot of times. But you don't want to always call your mom and just ask her for things. You want to call your mom and say, hey, mom, how's it going? And you want to talk to her for a little bit. By doing that, you are showing that you're not solely a self-absorbed person who thinks that you deserve absolutely everything in the world and that everything should be handed to you no matter what, no, anytime you want it, and etc. Yeah, that stuff is no good. Just stay in touch. Say hello. And then, after you've done that for a little while, you can mention the thing you're working on. You can ask for help with the thing that you're looking to get help with. You can stay in communication with somebody without expecting to get something out of them. And that's not to say that sometimes you are just going to have to get in touch with somebody and say, hey man, I need a favor, can you please help me with A, B, and C? That's fine. That's going to happen, and that's the way it is, and we all work in an industry where basically we rely on all the little threads that we have from all these people that we know and being able to tug on those threads every once in a while and call on somebody. Just expect that the same thing might happen to you. Somebody might get in touch with you at some point or another and say, hey, I need help with 
A, B, and C. Just keep it in mind and then return that favor when you're able to. Because if you're able to do that, again, you're going to keep a good contact list. You're going to keep a good little black book of all your connections and all the people that you can communicate with, work with, and you know, and everything like that. And you're going to be able to call on those people when you're able to, but also you're just being a good person. You're just staying in touch and being a good person and seeing how somebody is doing. And that will make a difference in the long run. So that's the bottom line. Just, you know, connect with your connections every once in a while and say hello. Don't ask for ask of anything from them. Just ask them how they're doing. You might be amazed at sometimes how things just come up organically and suddenly you get a new opportunity that you did not expect at all just because you said hello. So there you have it, guys. That's being a successful musician and I hope you found it useful. As always, if you have questions, comments, or everything else, anything else, leave it in the comment section of this video. Find me on your favorite social media network, etc., etc., etc. As always, guys, I'm Brian Botkiller. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Take care. You've read